27 Dandy Dinman Terrier Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. With an independent, proud, and intelligent disposition, the Dandy Dinman Terrier belongs to the terrier group recognized for their resilient and dignified nature. These small dogs typically stand between 8 and 11 inches in height and can weigh anywhere from 18 to 24 pounds. Number 2. Renowned for their determined, intelligent, and dignified appearance, the Dandy Dinman Terrier's expression is consistently alert and friendly. They showcase large, round, hazel eyes and wide apart, hanging ears contributing to their endearing look, and the moderately large, dark-colored nose adds the finishing touch to the pup's charming appearance. Number 3. The breed's coat is quite unique, featuring a mixture of approximately two-thirds hardish hair and one-thirds soft hair, resulting in a crisp texture with a length of about two inches. This distinctive coat is maintained through plucking, and it is described as piley or penciled, showcasing the natural intermingling of the two hair types. Similarly, the underpart of the body has softer hair compared to the top. Number 4. Their coat features either pepper or mustard colors. Pepper spans from dark bluish black to light silvery gray, favoring intermediate tones. Silvery white accents the top knot and ear feather, while leg and foot hair complements the body color. Mustard hues range from reddish brown to pale fawn with a creamy white top knot and ear feather. The leg and foot hair is darker than the top knot, enhancing the dandy's captivating look. Number 5. According to Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, Dandy Denman Terriers hold the 62nd rank out of 79 dog breed groups in terms of obedience intelligence. They demonstrate fair working intelligence, typically requiring 40 to 80 repetitions to understand new commands, and they tend to obey the first command 30% of the time. Number 6. As is typical of terrier breeds, the Dandy Dinmont is a brave dog that doesn't shy away from challenges. While they won't initiate confrontations, you can be sure that your Dandy will stand up to any challenge. This may sometimes lead to encounters with larger dogs, so it's important to supervise your dog when in the company of other pets and people. Number 7. These guys also possess a high prey drive, a trait rooted in their history as hunting dogs. They may blindly chase after any small animals they consider prey without being fully aware of their surroundings. So it's crucial to keep these dogs on a leash when outdoors or leave them in a securely fenced area when unsupervised. Number 8. Dandy Denmonts are lively and energetic dogs that thrive on having a purpose. They require ample physical and mental stimulation to stay content. Otherwise, they may become bored, leading to undesirable behaviors like excessive barking or furniture chewing. Number 9. Due to their hunting background and terrier lineage, Dandy Denmonts have a natural inclination for digging. This behavior, rooted in their history of flushing out prey, can be challenging to eliminate through training. Consider offering them a designated digging area as an alternative for them to indulge in this instinctive behavior. Number 10. Although generally less vocal than some other terrier breeds, Dandy Denmonts have a keen instinct for alerting their owners to anything they find noteworthy. Whether it's a squirrel in the yard, the arrival of the mailman, or sirens in the vicinity, your Dandy is likely to make you aware of various occurrences. Number 11. Typically a healthy breed, the Dandy Denman Terrier boasts an average life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. With a high quality life enriched by ample affection and care, many of these dogs can enjoy even longer and more fulfilling lives. Number 12. While generally robust, the Dandy Denmont, like any other breed, may be prone to certain health issues. Conditions to be vigilant about in this breed include glaucoma, hypothyroidism, hip and elbow dysplasia, Cushing's syndrome, epilepsy, allergies, obesity, dystochysis, and progressive retinal atrophy. Number 13. These terriers are also more susceptible to Chilatilla yescuri mite infections compared to many other dog breeds. Symptoms of the infection include skin scaliness, the presence of small white Chilatilla mites on the skin surface, itching, redness, and small swollen areas on the skin. Number 14. Dandies are also highly prone to spinal problems such as intervertebral disc disease, impacting the discs in the dog's spine and causing back pain, mild discomfort, or even paralysis. It is essential to handle your pup's back with care, supporting them when lifted, and discouraging jumping on or off high places. Consider providing pet steps for access to the sofa or bed. Number 15. The breed also carries a slightly elevated risk of cancer compared to other dog breeds, with heightened susceptibility to lymphoma, a form of cancer affecting the lymph nodes and lymphatic system. This condition can compromise the pup's immune response, making them more vulnerable to various other diseases. Number 16. The terrier that would later be recognized as the Dandy Dinmont first appeared in written history around 1700. Described as a rough native terrier owned by border hunters in the Cheviot Hills between England and Scotland, this breed was noted for its skill in dealing with four-legged poachers like otters and badgers. 
Number 17. Several theories surround the origins of the Dandy Dinman Terrier. Some believe they resulted from a cross between otter hounds and local terriers in the border country between Scotland and England, while another theory suggests that the breed evolved from the rough-haired terriers prevalent on farms. Yet others propose that the Dandy Dinman was developed by crossing terriers with ducks hunts. Number 18. In contrast to many breeds, the Dandy Dinmont has not undergone significant changes since the early 1700s. Present-day dandies bear a striking resemblance to the one portrayed in Gainsborough's 1770 portrait of Henry, 3rd Duke of Buccleu, although several other breeds also lay claim to being the dog depicted with the Duke. Number 19. Despite having a history spanning hundreds of years, Dandy Dinman Terriers didn't acquire their distinctive name until 1814 when Sir Walter Scott published his book Guy Mannering. In the book, a character named Dandy Dinman owned terriers named Pepper and Mustard, named after their coat colors. This led to the breed being known as Dandy Dinman's Terriers, with the apostrophe and the S gradually being dropped over the years. Number 20. The character of Dinmont in the book was partially inspired by the real-life farmer and terrier owner James Davidson, who also used the generic terms pepper and mustard for his dogs based on their coat colors. Davidson meticulously documented his breeding efforts, earning recognition as the originator of the modern breed. Number 21. Following the publication of Guy Mannering, the breed experienced a surge in popularity, gaining favor among European royalty, including King Louis Philippe and Queen Victoria. It is widely believed that during this period of increased interest, dandy Dinmonts were bred with dachshunds, contributing to their distinctive and elongated physiques. Number 22. The exact date of the first introduction of dandies to the U.S. is not documented. However, the American Kennel Club registered a dandy named Bonnie Britton in the inaugural year of the Studbook Registry in 1886. Remarkably, the dandy Dinmont stands as the only recognized breed named after a fictional character to this day. Number 23. In the pre-World War II era, numerous prominent kennels were actively breeding dandies. However, during the war, many of these kennels were disbanded, with some resorting to the unfortunate decision of euthanizing their dogs due to the scarcity of food and caretakers. Post-war, committed breeders undertook significant efforts to re-establish the Dandy Denman Terrier breed. Number 24. Among the notable kennels involved in the post-war efforts, Bellmate Kennels in England stood out. Renowned for their size and prominence, Bellmate Kennels produced a notable sire named Bellmate Delegate, a successful show winner. The kennel continued its dedication to breeding dandies until the early 1990s, when it was eventually sold to Battersea Dogs Home. Number 25. The Dandy Denman Terrier is one of the rarest and most endangered purebred dog breeds. In 2003, only 90 puppies were registered in the UK, with the US recording just 75 registrations during the same period. The Kennel Club in England has acknowledged its endangered status among native breeds, raising concerns about the potential extinction of this unique and cherished breed. Number 26. Due to their scarcity, Dandy Denmonts are fairly uncommon as family pets in many parts of the world, contributing to their low popularity. According to the AKC's list of most popular dog breeds in America in 2022, the Dandy ranked 186th out of a total 199 registered breeds based on nationwide registrations. Number 27. Obtaining a Dandy Denman Terrier puppy can be a significant financial investment due to their rarity. Expect to pay $1,500 or more for a pup from a reputable breeder. Pedigreed puppies may command even higher prices, reaching $2,500 or more. Alright guys, now which of these Dandy Denman Terrier facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.